Hi everyone and welcome to my favorite time of the year, the new year. Honestly, is new year even part of December or January? I feel like it's a part of December, but technically it's a part of January. But then it doesn't make sense to have new year on a January. You know, new year feels a little bit more like December 31 rather than it being January 1. Does that make sense? I know it doesn't, but you know. But hi, and welcome back again to another late video because let's face it, I'm really close to finals, which is the final week of this semester, but I have another semester after. But uh, what was I saying? I started wrapping all the gifts for my family, but the problem is I had no tree to put it under. Is that a very reasonable reason as to why I really wanted a Christmas tree. Maybe not, but I really wanted a Christmas tree, which has been stressful for my mom, but I'm enjoying it so far. I know you've read the title, and there really is no need of further explanation, so let the makeover commence. So for our very, very late Christmas makeover, we're actually going to work on three areas. The first one is the TV area, then we have the coffee table, and finally, the hallway, because we finally have a decent looking hallway. But for now, we're going to focus on the TV area. Now, the TV area currently looks like a huge, big pile of mess. But, 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 there is good reason. This is because my mom is conducting a gift giving thingy. So, you know, there's a lot of bags and boxes and all that jazz. So my idea for our TV area is that I really wanted to put a Christmas tree because essentially this is the foundation in which this video is built upon. Although we did have a Christmas tree way back when I was young, but um, I, I may or may not have aggressively convinced my mom to give away that old tree. And also we had to give away the plant her name is Shirazad. If I feel horrible, it, it, it's time to move on, guys. After that, I also wanted to put a wreath on top of the TV area, and I also wanted to put a garland on the TV console, just because right now I have an abundance of garland and I don't know where to put them. So that's the initial idea. So, with the idea all set, we had a very quick family reunion because we hardly see each other at home, despite our house being miniature. So uh, we, we went to the mall to go tree shopping, and... We actually found quite a lot of trees. SM Mega Mall is a really great place to buy things. We actually had two contenders for the trees. First one is this. It's honestly very beautiful, but the problem is they didn't have it in the size, which is seven feet that we needed. So we had to settle for this other tree. Do I regret it? Maybe a little bit. Did I feel like I was, I was settling? Um, maybe a little bit, but you know, it's fine. Okay, now that we're done buying the tree or securing the tree, we shall now set it up. Um, this is gonna be hard, but it's gonna be a fun task. Not really. Also, if you randomly hear my dog crying or scratching the door, that's because my whole family is outside and she wanted to tag along. But, well, unfortunately, she is stuck with me, so. Now, to set up the Christmas tree, you want to make sure that everything on the floor is very clean. So then, you know, we put out the good old vacuum that my dog is very afraid of for no particular reason. And then I brought out the Christmas tree. I may or may not have underestimated the weight of this tree. I thought it could be, you know, a one man or woman team, um, but it was really heavy. But I mean, I, I did it, so I guess it still is a one woman team. I also made a mistake of putting the middle part at the bottom, but you know, I fixed it anyways. It was just hard because it kept hitting my face. Now, fluffing up the tree is also a very important part because that really what gives your tree life and shit. So do not miss that out, although it's very time consuming. Now, for the decoration of this tree, it's actually just very simple because I did go on Pinterest prior to this and search for minimalist trees and all they had were Christmas lights and I thought it's a very beautiful thing. And also the tree already had a lot of ornaments so I didn't really need much. So all I did was buy this 500 LED thingy type of Christmas light yellow thingy and at first I thought that I could do it all on my own, you know, on my own, putting Christmas lights on. I'm sorry, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore, but yeah, I asked my mom for help because I realized it was a very hard job and she has been doing this for quite a while, you know, before I started taking over and being a dictator in her home. So, you know, it, it's all good. We're, we're good. It, it's a fine functioning home. Although this was also very time consuming, but it is very pretty afterwards. Now I know that the Christmas lights were already enough for this Christmas tree, but I also have this idea of putting dried flowers. 
Now, it was very painful and heartbreaking to cut off sprigs of dried flowers from my pre-existing dried flower arrangements, but I mean, desperate times call for desperate measure, I, I guess. Uh, I, I don't regret it though. But all you want to do is to get this twist and tie thingy, although anything would work honestly, but I got it from Shopee, I can link it down below. But all you want to do is to map out where you want to put the dried flowers, because sometimes, you know, before you fully commit, you want to, you know, Check it out first if it works or not. I don't know that there is no double meaning in that. But then once you're fully convinced that it looks great, just get your twist and tie thingy or any rope actually. And you just want to tie it, wrap it around. And honestly, it's very easy. Is it that scene? I mean, probably not, but I mean, it's okay. And then after you finish everything, you just really want to clean everything at the bottom and vacuum it because, you know, we don't want to really mess home. And for the decorations at the bottom, because again, the reason for this video is because I wanted to put my gifts under a tree. So I just put a bunch of gifts that I already wrapped in my previous videos. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Also, I just really wanted to say that I really wanted to put a star on top of the tree, but SM didn't have any, so it was quite heartbreaking, but I'm fine. And just when you thought the TV area was done, well, you are mistaken, kind sir. The TV area wouldn't be complete without, you know, a bunch of things on top. So initially, I wanted to put a garland, but I changed my mind because it was too busy. So I just put a bunch of, you know, these Christmas trees and maybe a golden cup. I really don't know what symbolism I'm trying to go for, but I mean, it works. Now, another thing I wanted to do for the TV console, well, not really for the TV console, but probably something above it right there because it is very plain and it's just really boring so i also wanted to put a wreath on top of it now my original idea was to actually diy a wreath because whenever i would go to the mall or whenever i would go online on shopee and then look for wreaths they're usually small and most of the time they don't look very convincing at least in my opinion i really did not like the look of how the wreaths were made so i said that i was gonna diy it but then my mom has a friend who i don't know just loves giving gifts her name is tita genevieve and honestly she's the nicest person ever she gave us gifts during her birthday and now she also gave us gifts on christmas and to my surprise and i kid you not i was squealing when i got her gift because when i opened it it was wreaths she sent us two wreaths first one actually is honestly my favorite but it's not the one we're gonna put on there because of i don't know color scheme or something here we go so this one is a lavender wreath um honestly i like this one the most because i i like the smell of it and my neighbor told me that this would last for about i believe six months although i'm not sure so my idea for this is to either just put it on my mom's door on the hallway or just put it in my room because i really like the smell of lavender and then the other one is the one that we are gonna use because first of all, it is bigger. Second of all, it has the same color scheme as a Christmas tree. Oh, also this one has eucalyptus. This wreath is so pretty! It feels like I'm in a country where it actually snows on Christmas. A country with, with seasons. A country with actual weather. Apart from really hot, hot, rainy, but it's still hot. So I just asked my mom and my brother to buy me some hooks, but the one that you stick, because I don't want to put a hole in the wall. And then I just need to wait for them because they're not yet here. So as soon as my parents got home, I immediately went to work because I actually had a class, but I sadly missed it. But kids, please go to school. Do do your best. Don't make over and not go to school. Please do not do not do that. It's not it's really not worth it. Although it feels like it's worth it, but I mean, you know, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really a bad influence. But you just put it on the door or wall. Just make sure it's centered, and you just want to put the wreath on top. Now for this other one, I didn't like the red ribbon. Ooh, that's like a a, a cake store i'm sorry i got sidetracked but i didn't like the red ribbon so i replaced it with a white ribbon and then i just did the same thing and i hanged it sadly though it's kind of it, it's kind of off a few inches but i mean at least we're done with the living area or the tv area and now we shall go forth to the coffee table i'm sorry there's a lot of dogs barking outside but i don't know how to make them stop barking they're my neighbor's dogs but we're fine 
We're fine. For a coffee table, I have a very simple idea. I don't want it too grandeur or something. So I just wanted to put a basket on it and then just put a bunch of stuff on the baskets. Also, I really wanted a candle. I love candles, okay? I've only probably lit one candle my entire life. Although I have pretty much three candles at home. But the thing is, I never want to use them because I always fear that I am going to run out of candles to use ever again. Um, but still, you know, I wanted a candle to put on top of it and I wanted it to smell like Christmas. So, I did buy quite a lot of things. Well, actually not a lot. Yeah, so we're just gonna do a very brief haul time. One day, I was in Robinson's Galleria. I saw the department store and they renovated it. And now they have a very dedicated line of home stuff. I saw this basket. This basket is very beautiful. Also, it's kind of inexpensive. I was gonna say it's kind of cheap, but honestly, it's really not. I think it would be around 300, 400 in my country money, but it's so stiff and thick, you know? So that's the first thing that we got. Next! This isn't exactly something that we bought, but this is something that we've had for a while. I don't know what it's called, but it looks like a vase jar crystal looking thing. I think this was thrifted. And the next thing, like I said, I really wanted candles. And so we got a candle. But this, my friends, is a gingerbread smelling candle. And when I saw gingerbread, I knew I wanted to buy this candle. First of all, I love the smell of cookies. Second, gingerbread screams Christmas right to my face. And oh my gosh, when I got this and I smelt it, I cried. Well, actually I didn't actually cry, but I did shed one tear. I love this candle. The last thing that we got is the. So if you watched my previous video, you know that I am giving my dad a plant, uh, which is not the most ideal gift for fathers, but I mean, you know what? It's okay. But one we put in the gift for my dad and the other one is here with us although it's not very Christmassy but I mean a plant never hurt anyone also I just put a random piece of paper towel on the bottom the catch plate is made of wood and I don't want it to have mold or algae or something when it gets wet okay so that is our haul now decorating the coffee table has got to be one of the most satisfying and soothing things I've ever done now essentially it's very simple and all you have to do is to remove all of the things that are already in your coffee table and you would also want to clean it. Now, cleaning it is very important. I know cleaning sucks as a child, but you know, you grow up and you realize that cleaning is therapeutic, you know? You then put the basket that I got from Robinson's Galleria and you wanna make sure that it is centered perfectly. And then after that, you put a very random plant. Honestly, any plant doesn't matter. Just put a plant somewhere there. And then you put a very nice vase that you have and then your pretty, pretty candle. You also have the option to put the remote control behind if that's your style, but if not, you don't have to. And then we also, I almost forgot to mention that I did DIY this beaded garland, I believe, and you just want to make sure that it just flows. Honestly, I don't know how to decorate with this. This is the first time I used it, but here is how you make this DIY beaded garland. So first things first, the materials that you will need is this really nice pretty thread. Honestly, any thread will work because you can't really see much of it inside unless you're making tassels. You also need some scissors and then your variety of either big, small, or whatever size beads you want to use. Now for me, I did use two different sizes of beads. The first one that I got is 16 millimeters and the other one is actually 20 meters. I mean 20 millimeters. I'm so sorry about that. I got both of these wooden beads from the same store on Shopee, which I'll be linking down below. Now, the first thing that you would want to do is to make your tassels. For this one, the tassels are optional, but I swear it makes it look better. It's definitely worth it. So all you have to do is to get your cotton rope and you want to tie it, not really tie it, but sort of let it encircle your hands at least 20 times. You can do it more. It depends on how thick you want your tassels to be. You want to make two of these. Now, after making your first two tassels, 
tassels, you want to actually get the string that you are going to use in which you're going to put the beads in, which we can call the main string. And that's what you want to use to tie onto whatever point of your first tassel is. I know it doesn't make sense, but looking at it, it makes much more sense. And now after you tie it very tightly, you want to cut the other opposite center part of your tassels. I'm so sorry, I'm butchering this explanation. You also want to cut out a very random piece of even more string. And it doesn't have to be as long as the tassels. And you're gonna make a weird loop at first. I know it doesn't make much sense right now, but you'll understand it once we finish circling around. So you wanna put a loop and then you just want to sort of like a ponytail, just go around the whole tassel, creating a weird circular thingy on top. And then once you finish that, you wanna put the end of your string onto the loop and then you wanna pull the loop downwards so then the end of your string is secured and it won't fall off. I hope it made much more sense. Now after you do the first tassel, you just wanna put all of the beads in whichever sort of pattern or sequence that you like. What I just did is two big ones, two small ones, two big ones, two small ones, and that was pretty much it. Now at the end, you just wanna do the same thing to the last tassel using the main string. Just tie it on any point of the tassel, cut it, and then cut another five to seven inch string, make a loop, and then circle it around like a ponytail. I'm really sorry, I know you really did not get anything from this tutorial, so I will be linking a lot of links in the description just to help you out because I just can't. But I really love these wooden bead thing garlands. Honestly, it is so versatile because it doesn't only just work for Christmas. You can use it any time or season of the year, although there really are no seasons here in the Philippines. Now, we are done with our coffee table. And now, for the moment no one has been waiting for, we are now finishing with the hallway. So for our hallway, I actually quite recently did a makeover on it. And if you haven't watched that video, uh, this is the sign you've been waiting for. So pretty much the whole weight is already okay. I mean, it looks pretty good and pretty decent, but the thing is, it doesn't feel like Christmas, okay? And we also have Pinterest to blame because essentially when I started searching simple minimalist Christmas decor in Pinterest, all it showed me was a bunch of hallways or actually, nay, a bunch of fireplaces with a bunch of garland on top. And it looked very serene, beautiful, peaceful, wholesome, but I really like the look of it. I really wanted to do it. Here are some inspiration photos of what I'm trying to accomplish. So the plan is to put a bunch of garland on top and a lot of Christmassy looking, maybe not glittery type of things because those are really hard to remove after Christmas. But that is what we're hypothetically trying to accomplish. So for the hallway, I again, went on Shopee to buy a bunch of faux eucalyptus and other kinds of leaves. Honestly, I, I just can't name any leaves because I can't even properly name my plants. So, you know, it's, it's just leaves. I can link it down below again. So the thing with garlands is I don't particularly like the look of it. The same thing with the wreaths. They just don't look very real. They don't look very convincing, you know, in my opinion. So I figured that if I combined a bunch of Christmas looking plants, then it'll look a bit more compelling, you know? Also, I added a bunch of faux pine to give it more volume because right now it's looking a little flat, you know, just like how God made me. So after fixing my garland, I did put some dried flowers again. I, you know, cut them off from my peaceful dried flower arrangements. It was a very sad day, but still kind of happy, so I didn't know what to feel. But I mean, it makes the garden look pretty, so I guess I don't regret it. I also bought these Christmas tree toilet bowl loofahs from Shopee, but honestly, these Christmas trees look very promising. They arrive kind of crooked, but I mean, you could always fix them, but they're not the best looking things, but I mean, they pretty much work. And that finishes our very pretty, pretty Christmas hallway, although it is very late and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a few days before Christmas the moment I post this video. So, you know, there we have it. I'm sorry, I keep doing that. It's such a fun action to do. You know, if you don't believe me, try it for yourself. Just, it's a little joyous in life, okay? But 
I cannot believe they're actually done with this makeover. Um, it is very tiring, so do spare a couple of days when you are going to do this for yourself. And I know I'm pretty much late to the decorate your home Christmas vibes kind of wagon, but you know what? I decorate at my own pace. Since you're already here at the almost very end of the video, I think you deserve some B-roll and really nice footage of everything. So here you go. watching and I really love this position. Maybe this is my last video for the year. Maybe not. I really don't know. It's quite unpredictable most of the time. But thank you for watching so much and I really hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Although Christmas is kind of weird this year. But I mean, I still hope that you find rest on the holidays. I love you all from the bottom of my hypothalamus and have a happy new year. Just kidding. Merry Christmas. But year is still better. Yeah, and year is still better. And now I just had a very brief moment of existential crisis, but, but we're fine. Okay, see ya.